Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are back with the one and only Tip T.I. Harrison. We're having so much fun with him. We had to bring him to the absolutely, table. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, I picked up my heart from off the ground. I'm yes, good you're now. you're good. So now. I'm back. Oh, right back know. in it. Come on, you're from Memphis, y'all. Oh. Come on, you know what I mean? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 You also executive produced this show. Now, how'd that come about? I, well, I executive produced my episode. Okay, okay. got it. You know got it. The, episode, the Atlanta episode, I executive produced that episode as Cardi did uh, for New York and Chance. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, for Chicago. got it. Okay. I see, I see. Okay, that's, okay. That's so it's going to be going around and, and actually filming in many different places. Sure. Uh, I was responsible for combing the streets and the cre crevices of Atlanta <laughs> as, as, <laughs> as, as Cardi was in New York, okay. as Chance was in Chicago, we met back up in LA and did another group mm -hmm. uh, audition. And from there, we just began to kind of narrow it down. Right, right, yeah. right. Well, let's talk about you. Of course, you've been in the game for over 20 years, or right around not 20. Quite not quite yet. Not quite. Close to 20. Not, 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 not 15. No, we, we, we right at 19. OK, come on. I said 19. <laughs> no, we said over 20. Then I said it back. But you know, we can round it up. Okay, round it up. <laughs> and, and Trap Music just celebrated 16 years. And on your post on Instagram, you said, I can't thank y'all enough for changing my life. And for yeah. those folks who have awesome. followed you, you know, you came out, I'm serious, which was, you know, was well received. But Trap Music was the one Ooh. that really changed everything for you. Can you talk about that particular album and how it kind of positioned you as the artist that you are now? Uh, I mean, I feel the Trap Music, for me, it was... It was like a biography, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It was a biography of my life before I became an artist. I was really just talking about the, the life and lifestyle of my actions and activities uh, in, 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 in the trap, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, my high school years, a lot of people played basketball, sports, and you know, others went to college mm -hmm. and I, I happened. You went to the trap. Exactly, mm -hmm. that's why I, but, that's what, but that's why I learned the lessons that, that shaped and molded right. my personality right, right. And, 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 and my morals and standards to who I am today. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. And speaking of moral and standards, uh, Dime Trap, which features Tiana Taylor and mm -hmm. talks a lot about sex trafficking and so many different things, mm -hmm. that video is, uh, is absolutely outstanding. Thank you. Talk about the importance of you positioning yourself uh, with topics like this and why that's important. Um, well, I mean, first of all, Tiana Taylor directed the video. Wow. And she's a phenomenal director. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, in my discussions with her, I said, look, I want to do something, but I don't want to do anything normal. I want to make sure that we push the envelope and, and break barriers and, and talk about things within the community that need to be discussed. Mm -hmm. And she, um, she obliged. So I kind of, you know, we collaborated, but I, I kind of formulated a, a storyline of us being vigilantes mm -hmm. and kind of taking matters into our own hands. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it came out great. It, it, took, it took us about four or five months to do it, but it came out great. It looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you. It looks fantastic. Yeah, Tayana Taylor is just all around talented. Absolutely. Just Absolutely. everything Absolutely. that she and does. Fine. And fine. And, and fine. she fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But the, the, talent, the talent that it's she has. Tangible. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but you have to just keep on giving. Right. Um, speaking of um, just all the amazing things that you're doing, one of the things that I love about you is your fatherhood. Mm -hmm. oh. And we saw you on, um, we, we get to see you, and we saw you on The Family Hustle. And uh, one of the cool things about you is that you, you teach you teach lessons down to your children with right comedy, yes. <laughs> which is very fun to watch. Yes. Now, what, what do you think, though? I mean, we all see that, but what do you think um, is probably your best asset as a dad? Uh, you know, what is one of your best, uh, what is your biggest ammunition? What do you use to, what can you use to say, you know what, I'm gonna do this, this gonna work mm. every single time as a father? Well, I, there isn't one thing. There is no one thing except for presence. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, being, wow. being, being present. Uh, but I think every, like every child 
requires a different approach and mm -hmm. a different skill set. Uh, but I think that the, probably the one thing that equips me and enables me to be the best father and teach the best lesson is that I was once a little badass kid myself. Mm -hmm. And so I tell them all the time, you rich kids are never, ever, ever amount to the ghetto that I have But I think that my ability to relate to them, because I know how I would feel if I was in their right. position, so I just kind of say, hey, listen, why don't you think about it like this? this. Yeah. You know, and then, yeah. they, then they stop and I didn't think of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. To see that moment in a chat, to, to see my children have epiphanies based off right. of suggestions <laughs> yes. that I made. Yes. You know what I mean? That, you know, that's, that's, I can literally see wrinkles growing in their brain. Yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. shaping and Your communication and is, yeah. is, is, Absolutely. Yeah, your Absolutely. Communication. Yes. And what's the biggest thing that you've learned from what they've taught you during this entire journey as be, of being a father? Um, They've taught me patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. The kids teach a lot of that. My They've God taught today. me patience, yeah. Wow. But I mean, I love it. I think it's the, it's the most fulfilling, yeah. purposeful yeah. thing that I've ever been blessed with yeah. the opportunity to do. Yeah. Well, you, you seem to always do things with purpose. Let's be honest about it. And, you know, you've been very, very vocal and outspoken about the community. Mm. I watched you down with the Candace Owens. I got my life that day. Mm. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> that's cool, honey. You <laughs> snatched <laughs> all her edges. Yeah. 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 But you, you have an initiative to, to... I'm a vessel. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. You know yes. But again, you have an initi initiative to buy back old, old Bankhead. Mm. So, so tell me, why is that so important to you to do? Uh, well, because, I mean, I think that, you know, the, the pillars of the community and the natives of the community, and not just Bankhead, Vine City, the Bluff, yep, yep. Kirkwood, mm -hmm. Edgewood, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Grant Park, like all of those areas and communities, like there are real valuable assets to that community who made that community what it is yep. right now. So the people who risked their lives and endured the most stringent, rigorous parts mm -hmm. of, 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 of that community, I feel like now that there's some prosperity, uh, they should be afforded the opportunity to reap the benefits mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So, But it's gonna take people like me who have vision, uh, resources influence mm -hmm. and relationships mm -hmm. that can yes. kind of connect the dots and create that you know right. and create that platform right. so right. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing everything I can to create more affordable housing mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna start with bank here but it won't end there yes. All right. Right. Yes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your podcast where okay. you really address a lot of <laughs> yes. 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 that's the name of it where you really talk about a lot of issues within the community what what made you start this podcast uh, I think somebody probably looked at my Instagram from podcast one and kind of like introduced the opportunity and just like raised the like, hey, have you ever thought about doing a podcast? And I said, nah, I haven't. And um, I think, you know, in that meeting, I kind of was like, hmm, if I did a podcast, how would it be? I didn't know what I was going to name it. I didn't know what it I just knew that we would have discussions with uh, interesting people about matters that affect the community and that can, you know, that, that, that could create the kind of dialogue that will push the culture mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. the generation forward. Well, you are the perfect ah, person that. for that. Thank I'm you. super proud of you. You yes, always, you know, I always say that Thank you. every time I see you. And I'm you. proud of all of you guys. Thank you guys you. are doing a phenomenal Thank job. Thank you. Thank you. This is like my second time here. You even had my little baby girl here. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah.